Hey y'all, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. Today we are going to be diving into not one, not two, but three brand collabs with influencers that have come out in the last couple of months because I'm just, I'm just that late to all of them. So yeah, as you guys saw from the thumbnail, I'm sure I'm going to be using the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette. This was a collaboration with Angelica Nyquist here on YouTube. I believe this was the first one that came out so long ago. I missed the initial launch. I was able to get it on a, a restock, but I still have not tried it yet. And then I'm also going to be using the Menagerie Cosmetics Serenity palette. And this is a collaboration with Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner here on YouTube. Sorry for my thumb. I forgot I should address. I cut it because I'm a clumsy like that. And then the last palette that we're going to use today is the Lethal Cosmetics Lethal Is Dead palette. And this is a collaboration with Teresa Is Dead here on YouTube. And this is what it looks like. So all three palettes, I've had them just sitting here waiting for me to get a chance to do a casual kitty get ready with me. And I just haven't had the time. So I was like, you know what? It might be a little fun to mix it up and do a palette bingo with these. So let me get in close and we can get started. So I've primed my eyes, I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and pick out the colors really quick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick two colors from each of these palettes to have six colors to work with on my eyes. So let's go ahead and just grab the Club Nebula palette since that's just the one that was on top and that's the one we're gonna grab. So here is what it looks like and I'm going to input into the random number generator. All right, so we're gonna put in 15, whoops. Let's see, and done and generate. 11, so that's 5, 10, 11. So it's this shade right here, it's like a multi-chrome. A little disappointed, I was hoping to get one of the beautiful mattes. But anyway, this is called uh, Celestial, sorry. Celestial, so I'm going to try and be really compact. I should take this bandaid off first. I totally forgot about it. You know what, let me take it off. Okay, that's much better. All right, moving on. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna generate one more from this palette, number two, ooh, which is seven of nine, right there. So it's like a pretty matte. Mm, I am excited for a matte, like a blue-green seafoam. I forget what this color, how you would describe this color, but very pretty. Not too greeny, but there's a hint of it in there. I guess it's more of just like a, maybe just grunge, grungy baby blue type of color. Anyway, those are the two, let me get some for my fingers. These are the two that we're gonna be working with from the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette that was a collaboration with Angelica Nyquist. Okay, next up we have the Serenity palette from Menagerie Cosmetics and Annette's Makeup Corner. Here is what it looks like. So we're gonna input, let's see, four, eight, 12. And generate, we have six. Four, five, six. Ooh, we get that orange. I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to trying this orange. Ooh, and it feels nice. If you're new to my channel, I'm not typically the biggest fan of Menagerie Shimmer Formula. Um, they tend to be like super chunky and flaky. This one feels more promising though. And look at that shine. Wow, okay. So that one was called Monarch. Sorry, I got so excited. Didn't even think to tell you guys the name. Let's generate one more and we have 12. So four, oh, 12. It's gonna be this green one down here. The last one, this is called Luna. Oh, I can't wait to do a whole look with this palette. It's so pretty. I am looking forward to doing a look with like the greens and the yellows and orange. It's gonna be so pretty. Here it is. I did not pick it up very well. Grab a little bit more to make it a bigger swatch, but there it is. This is gonna, this is looking to be an interesting color story. All right, last up is the Lethal Cosmetics Teresa's Dead Palette. Lethal is dead. This is the newest one to my collection. Got it not too long ago. Let's go ahead and input nine and select the first number, six. So it's gonna be right here, this shimmery pink. It's called Ancient Evil. And I'm going to, that kind of looks similar to that first color that we swatched, except it's not like super sheer and duochrome-y. So yeah, just a nice pink shimmer. Very like pale pink shimmer, nothing too bright. Hmm, those two are gonna be competing because I was gonna, I would use both of those for the same purpose, which is like inner corner highlight. Gonna have to get creative. Okay, let's do the last one. Two. Okay, this is the final girl right here. Hmm, I do not know what I'm gonna do with this color story. It is not deep enough for me like I was hoping to have a very nice deep color to use in the outer corner but all three mattes are pretty light and the shimmers are a little too samey samey for me the two uh, shimmers there the pinks are 
very similar. At least we have that uh, that orange there. I'm excited for that pop of orange. So let me take a moment to kind of brainstorm here. I like to do that and just like stare at my hand and then we'll jump right into it. So what I'm going to start off doing is I'm gonna work on the outer corner first and I am going to use this blue on the outer corner which came from the Club Nebula palette in that seven of nine. And we're gonna pack this on the outer corner. That's the one I'm gonna start with. I'm excited because all three of these brands, I love their eyeshadow formula. I've always had great experience with them. So I'm excited to see how they work all together and how they work with different formulas, you know, not within their brand. So that'll be interesting. Ooh, I'm getting some fallout, which isn't uncommon from these, this formula, Kaleidos and Managerie and Lethal. I feel like they're both pretty pigmented. Okay, so that went on super easy. No issues there. Yeah, that's really pretty, very effortless. And um, it's a pretty first color, we shall see. So now I'm gonna go into this color, which is from the Lethal Is Dead palette from Lethal Cosmetics called The Final Girl. And I am going to blend that right on top with, mm, maybe I should do less of a dense brush, but we already have begun. So let me see what this does. I might wanna get a little bit more. So I'm gonna grab this by Beauty Junkies. Just pick up a touch, knock off so I don't have too much. And yeah, I just want something a little bit more fluffy so I'm not pressing and depositing too much of the product, I guess is what I'm really going for. And I'm never sure how far I wanna take these things in. I feel like I'm always either being too reserved and then having to add it back in or doing too much. So there's never a middle ground with me. I am a big fan of Lethal's uh, Cosmetics eyeshadow formula. So I was super excited to see that Teresa got a collab with them. I was happy for her. She's a channel that I enjoy. Like she's definitely got her personality and she's a channel that for me personally, like, I mean, I always listen to YouTube stuff with uh, earbuds in my ears, but I would never listen to around my children just because they, we definitely have very different, you know, vocabulary preferences and whatnot. But I, when I'm in the mood, I do enjoy watching her content. I just like how her humor is just like spot on and, I really do miss, I know I'm not alone in here, but I miss her stories in the beginning because they were honestly so priceless, but of course they stopped once, you know, 2020 hit and whatnot and she was working from home, but she had the most crazy stories that I just, there'd be so many times I would literally be cracking up while watching her. She's just very good when it comes to telling stories. So that's how I originally found her, I think. I forget which video it was, but it was a review video for, you know, some makeup. And I was like, wait, did I click on to hear about a review or did I click on a story time video? But uh, once I kind of figured it out, that was kind of like her intro. I was like, okay, that's different, that's unique. I love when, you know, a YouTuber is able to find something, you know, that they can do on their channel that's, you know, kind of sets them apart and something special between them and their subscribers and whatnot that they have. And that was definitely hers. And I just thought it was very neat. And like I said, the stories, I think she has uh, since gone on to like compile all the stories into their own separate videos. So if you don't want to go and just, you know, go searching around all of her videos because up until 2020, you know, when everyone started working from home, she would tell a story at the beginning most every time. Um, so I'm sure she has her compilation videos somewhere. But anyway, yeah, I always immensely enjoyed them. And her personality is just so funny. So anyway, I was super excited that she got to do a collab. It's always neat to see a YouTuber that you've been watching, who you've been enjoying, you know, watching their content from or just enjoying, you know, whatever the reviews that they give or their personality whatnot it's always neat to see them get a collab i think it's so much i think it's so much more exciting for me personally i feel like maybe influencers collabs people are saying are dwindling and kind of phasing out and going over to you know a new trend of um nostalgia collabs but i always enjoyed the influencer collabs the small influencer collabs because it made it extra special i never understood the like i was never into like the celebrity world um and so whenever they came out with a collab it was always like what so but with these smaller influencers especially it's like i have watched so many of their videos and you know i've you know gotten to watch them over the months or years that i've known them it is so neat to see them get to put together something like this and share it and i i know a lot of people are like oh i'm done with the I'm done with the influencers collabs or you know I'm, I'm tired of seeing influencers collab but as someone who gets excited every time someone I watch gets a collab I find it fun I, I'm not bored of it and I think you know you don't have to buy every one of it but still even if you're not buying it I can still get super excited over their collab okay I'm just finding the right brush I'm gonna use this e45 and I'm gonna go in with the blue which is Luna from the uh, Annette's makeup corner serenity palette and I'm gonna put this right in my inner half of my eye in the crease 
and this is Menagerie's formula. So I'm going to stamp it on and press and blend it out because I probably picked up way too much because I was not thinking. Her formula tends to be very pigmented and very soft. It's funny to put all three of these brands together because I feel like they all have, you know, obviously not the same, but they're very similar in formula where they're very, like, their mattes are so buttery smooth and they're so insanely pigmented that you ha just have to touch into the pan and you don't want to, like, go digging or you're going to, you know, just get way too much product. And that's how all three of these palettes are and I think that's so neat. But anyway, um, yeah, as we transition over to Annette, I was so excited to see Annette get this collab. She'd been sharing a little bit with me from behind the scenes, so I've just been like busting at the seams to get to, to talk about it. And I feel like, you know, with my life currently just being a little bit, personal life being a little bit hectic and having to not upload as much and not play with makeup as much as I used to, I feel like I haven't got a chance to really play with it and whatnot. Um, and I missed the initial launch, that didn't help either. That's another reason why I'm so late at this. But anyway, I'm super excited for Annette. I think she did a great job. And that's someone that just has such an eye for color and creativity that when I, you know, she first told me that she was going to do a collab, I was like, oh my goodness, it's going to be, it's going to be perfect. I think that looks good. It's got an interesting kind of blue to purple to pink look up here. And I think it kind of almost turns mustardy up here before going into the, the green. So that all works for me. I'm going to finish up on this side. At this point, I think I'm done with the crease. I like how it looked. I wouldn't mind having a much deeper blue in the outer corner but I think this is very pretty so now we have all the shimmers to deal with I want to put the orange shimmer obviously on the lid and I think I'm going to put this over top the first third because I kind of want to see what the iridescent pink does to the orange I mean I guess I could just swatch it over this now and get a glimpse it just kind of pinks it which isn't bad I put it right there so I think I'm going to put this all over the lid, put this in the inner third, and then we'll probably use that pink from the Lethal is Dead palette to do on the inner corner. And then I haven't even thought about the lower lash line, so let's do that real quick. I'm going to grab a really dense brush like this Ofra 8885 brush. I put a little bit of glitter glue or something sticky tacky down. But yeah, I'm super excited for Annette and the collab that she was able to get with Menagerie. They did a great job and it's it's also exciting to see all these indie brands get to collab with influencers as well because it's, it's been a neat thing to observe uh, you know, with these smaller influencers being such huge supporters of these really great and awesome quality indie brands and kind of seeing them you know, both rise to the top. Yeah, also too, like Shroud Cosmetics and Butte Beam had a great collab. Um, who else off the top of my head has had a collab with a small indie brand? I know I'm forgetting people. I'm so sorry. I always feel bad whenever I forget someone. But anyway, yeah, I just think it's so neat to see, you know, indie brands also getting, getting larger. And I know it's frustrating at the same time because, like, people talk about, you know, longer wait times and whatnot. But at the same time, I think it's worth the wait. And it's, you know, worth the wait also to know that you're helping out a small business, a, you know, often family run business, often a one person show run business. And I think that makes it okay with waiting. I feel like we're just so not used to waiting anymore. Cause like, I don't know. I remember even as a kid, you know, my parents buying something and being like, oh, we bought this on, you know, the computer It's going to be a couple weeks and it'll come in. But in this day and age, it's like two day shipping. It's not here in two days. What's going on? So anyway. All that to say, I feel like it's worth the wait. But yeah, I'm super excited with all three of these brands, Kaleidos, uh, Menagerie, and Lethal Cosmetics, seeing them get to collaborate with these influencers as well and help get their name out even more. I think that's really awesome as well. Okay, now we're gonna go into the Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist palette and we're going to pack on that, what shade was it? Celeste, that duochrome pink down there. And I think I am going to wet this because it does look a bit flaky and it is, you know, iridescent or transparent. That's the word I was looking for. So I think it'll just, you know, apply better if I sprayed a little, or also apply better, but also apply quicker and um, not fall over my face. So I'm going to put this on the inner third and I'm really gonna focus this on going up and making a really sharp cut crease. I think that's what I'm gonna do. My camera stopped recording on its own, so I have no idea where I stopped, but we're just putting this on the inner corner with a little bit of setting spray to help it go on without too much fallout and then I'll blend it into the orange. Angelica Nyquist, since I've kind of been touching on each of them as we talk, Angelica Nyquist, I remember finding her when she had like 20,000, 30,000 subscribers 
And one of the first videos I found her in was a shouting out, was it? I forget, but one of the first few videos I do know was her shouting out smaller creators and I just remember her also shouting out uh, Smoky Glow and this is back when Smoky Glow was really small. That's how I found Smoky Glow was through Angelica and Nika was shouting her out. It's always neat to see. I don't know, I just always appreciate Angelica Nyquist and Samantha March and those bigger creators at the time, like, you know, when I first started, I had zero, but these bigger creators that, um, these bigger creators at the time in the small, in the small, um, I don't know, bigger creators in the, like, small YouTuber beauty space, if you want to call it that, I don't even know how to describe it, but you guys know what I mean. It was always neat to see the the amount of like love that they were always sharing within the community and like when uh angelica nequis was like coming up and you know getting more popular she was doing a lot of videos on you know, calling out more calling out bigger creators in the beauty space for being a little shady or brands for you know releasing very uninteresting things and stuff like that and it's just neat to see you know kind of where i first find a creator and then where they are now and she's still like that she's still angelica's still fiery and whatnot when it comes to calling out brands or talking about new makeup releases and her uh the, the coin the term she coined is uh who asked for this anytime i say that doesn't matter what the situation is who i'm talking to i always think of angelica nequist and um yeah i always enjoyed her videos talking about new makeup releases and the videos where she shouted out smaller creators and whatnot and I always appreciate even in her regular, you know, weekly videos, you know, might not be dedicated to shouting out a small influencer, but I feel like she's always very free and frequent um, with shouting out other people that is on the YouTube platform or in the beauty space. And I think that's really awesome of her and something I appreciate about her, but yeah, she did a great job with this color story as well. I think that's pretty, honestly, in the inner corner a little bit. Like, this whole look is all around a little bit chaotic. I think it's going to come together once I do my wing. I definitely also feel like the blue... Oh, it's where I touched it with the, the liquid glitter. Okay, I was wondering why it was having this hard line, but that's where I put the liquid glitter, and that's where it stopped. So I'm going to take a little bit more of the um, orange from Annette's palette, and I'm going to pack that over a little bit farther just because I want to cover that place where the uh the blue darkens from the liquid i didn't think about that i should have been a little bit more careful where i was putting that looks like i got it up there too man i'm just messy when i applied that eek okay so i'm gonna clean this up i'm gonna do my wing liner and put on mascara and then we'll come back and assess the situation and see what else i want to do okay so i think i am pretty happy with it let's not talk about the wings Oh, they did not turn out well today. I will tell you that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's gonna be pink on the inner corner. Pretty easy, pretty boring from the Lethal Is Dead palette. And then for the outer corner, I think I'm just gonna do, you know what? I'm gonna do a mix. We're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a little bit of the blue and then we're gonna put the pink right on top very heavily to try to get that purple look that we got in the crease where the two mixed. But I want them to kind of completely combine to get that purple. I think that'd be pretty, so that's what we're gonna do here. Okay, so I'm going into the pink from the Lethal is Dead palette, and I'm putting this, like I said, right on top to try to mesh the two and get that purple look. Ooh, yeah, those are meshing really good. So yeah, it's kind of like a gray purple under there. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this bigger brush I used for the pink, and I'm just gonna kind of blendy blendy. I feel like I always have shadow. I'm just so messy when it comes to my eyeshadow. I make my under eyes look so dark and stuff. I'm just not, not that good at the whole eyes after foundation thing. Blending this all in and I think that's it. Oh my goodness, inner corner. I almost forgot. Inner corner. Okay, so I'm taking that Ancient Evil and I'm just going to pack that right on the inner corner. Might get a little drowned out due to the Duo chrome being right next to it, but it'll bring some brightness to it. The um, the shimmer formula from Lethal is just very pretty. Definitely a shimmer. Definitely has some sparkle to it, but nothing too like metallic or intense. I would say if I was had to describe it, it's just a nice brightening shadow that isn't like um, sparkly with like I don't know, almost like glitter sparkly. Like I'm thinking of like Kristen Lee Cosmetics or. Who else has really sparkly 
um, like Glamlight has that very like sparkliness to their shimmers. It's not like that, but it's just a very nice shimmer. Or like Kaleidos, even Kaleidos. This has a lot of sparkle to it that I see in that iridescent shadow. But anyway, um, still a really nice shimmer. Um, okay, now I'm going to put on some lower lash mascara, reapply this lip, lip oil that I have on, and then we're going to be done. Oh, I need to put black in my waterline then we'll be done. All right, so here's the completed look. I went ahead and just zoomed out the camera so we can do the outro, but yeah, this is the look that I created using the Club Nebula, the Serenity, and the Lethal Is Dead palette. All palettes that were collaborations between brands and influencers, and all palettes that I am super duper late to actually featuring on my channel, so. Sorry about that. But yeah, this is the completed look. All in all, I like it. It's a little bit little bit chaotic on the color match and whatnot. Per usual, if you guys wanna let me know what you would've done with this color story, you feel free to let me know that down below. I definitely feel like I probably could've put them differently and placed them better. Like I'm kinda, kinda wishing I put the green on the outer corner and then maybe the blue to pink in on the uh, in the crease. I feel like that might have looked a little bit better, but hey, we're here now, so I can't do anything about that. But let me know your thoughts. You guys always have such great color combinations and like where to place them. Whenever I do one of these palette bingos, you know, I always ask, you know, let me know what you would have done. And I sometimes I read y'all's comments. I'm just like, oh man, that would have been just so beautiful. Like, why didn't I see that placement beforehand when I was doing my eyeshadows? So definitely let me know your thoughts down below what you would have done with this color story. This one really stumped me because it's like all the mattes are very, you know, mid-tone similar, and then the two pinks are really close together. I really wish that instead of one of the pinks, I would have gotten a dark color. Then I feel like I could have been a little bit more creative. I don't know. I just feel like... I don't know. It's a nice look. I'm not mad at it, but it's definitely not my most favorite look that I've ever created. It's just a little bit like color everywhere, but not exactly cohesive color, but it's still pretty nonetheless. Anyway, that's just me rambling. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I've been wanting to feature these palettes on my channel for so, so long, so I hope you guys don't mind doing it in this palette bingo style. If you'd like to see any of these palettes individually, like get their own video, maybe I can do it in a future get ready with me, or maybe I could do, I could combine uh, all the palettes that I have from creators and do like one look with each of the palettes or maybe just from this year and last year that way I don't have to do all of them but just like the recent brand and influencer collab palettes I could give you a eyeshadow tutorial with each of them that might be a neat video I just thought of that as we're I'm sitting here talking so let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that and then I can give you guys more looks with them and also be able to give you guys you know one look from each of the palette not such a such a jumble of color on my eyes as I have today so let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see that that'll definitely help me kind of plan for my future content and yeah that is going to do it for me thank you guys so very much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one bye guys